What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Excel Online Business Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is Get Tables. Now, all of the actions that we've been looking at in the Excel Online Connector have all been about um, using tables, um, you know, updating rows and tables, getting rows of tables, occasionally looking at like worksheets and things like that, but it's mainly been about things inside tables, just that's the way the connector kind of works. This action allows you to get a list of the tables inside of that workbook. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow because I just need to trigger the flow. Then I can click on New Step. I can go to Excel Online Business. Scroll down to the bottom to Get Tables. Here we need three inputs. We need location, document library, and file. The location, this is going to give me a list of my OneDrive for business uh, or my personal OneDrive, as well as SharePoint, uh, SharePoint sites that I'm a member of or have access to as well. In this instance, I'm going to choose my OneDrive for business because that's where my file is. But if you have a SharePoint with uh, a document library, you can select that here. Same thing, document library. I have two for the OneDrives, which I'm not too sure why that is. Uh, if you do know, let me know down below um, in the comments. But the document library is essentially to specify the document library. So if you have a SharePoint that may have multiple document libraries, you can specify which one in here. Next, I'm going to choose the file. So I'm, for this, I'm going to use the file explorer. Uh, so I'm going to click on the little picker and I'm going to scroll down to my Power Automate folder. And then the workbook that I'm going to be looking at is this flowbook XLSX, uh, which if you've watched the, re the other videos, you'll know that that's my test workbook for this flow. And that's it. That's the only piece of information we need. So we will click on test and I'll perform a trigger action. We'll save and test. And then we will run the flow, click done. We'll wait a couple of seconds and it's all done. So here we go. So this is the this is the output. So I'm going to click on the show raw outputs uh, flow out here so we can get a better look at this. So at the top we have some header information, so we don't really need much about that. But then the body information is what we care about. So the body is what we have in the table. And you can see here we have two tables. We have table one and flow table. It gives us a little bit of information about each. So we see what the name is, we can see the styling of it, uh, we can see if it's got headers, uh, etc. or you know they could be they could be hidden headers. Uh, we can show like uh, banded columns and stuff like that, highlight first column. Uh, so we've got all these different uh, things that we can see in here. And again, we've got another table down here called flow, flow table and we can see the different uh, pieces of information there. So this could be useful if you need to loop through multiple tables, um, so you need to get all these tables, loop through them to find uh, specific information so you can get the rows in a table. So you could use this action to get the um, to get the, all the tables that you have, and then you could use the get rows and tables to get the rows of data inside that table, and then maybe you could update and add certain things to tables if they meet certain criteria. So that could be one use for this. But as always, I want to know what you guys use this for, so let me know in the comments down below or connect with me on social media. All my details are at the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video and you found it useful, if you could drop a like on it and maybe share it with a friend, that would really help me out. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.